Hi, this is Alicia McFarland from AliciaMcFarland.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can make an annotation to your Google Analytics account reports so that you can be reminded when you've had a major change to your website or for example you've moved your website to new hosting or you've just released a new version of your website you think you're going to remember, but a lot of times you won't remember the exact date. So if there's a huge difference in some kind of information that you're looking at within analytics, it's always good as a note to yourself that ah, that's why there's such a big difference here. So I'm just using a test account, which really doesn't have any data in it, but it's useful for showing you how to do this. Um, so I'm here in the audience overview report, which is a pretty common report people are gonna look at because it gives you a bird's eye view of what's happening with who's using your website. Now to create a new annotation, you'll notice you won't see that first off. So this is what it'll, it'll look like when you first kind of get into the overview. And it's really hard to see unless you know where it's at. So this little toggle right here, if you click on it, it'll show you this create new annotation. And for example, let's say that yesterday we um, switched hosting to SiteGround. And you want it to be shared by anyone that is seeing your analytics or you can switch it to private if it's just a personal note to yourself. Either way, you're just going to click save and then that's going to show on the timeline. It's kind of hard to see right here, but if you close this toggle, you'll kind of see this little thing and if you it it's a little kind of note icon and if you click on it, you'll see this little notation to yourself and to anyone else you've given access to that you you made a change here, a significant change to your website that might be uh, affecting the data. So that's how you create an annotation within Google Analytics as a reminder to yourself of what may have happened and what may be causing the differences in the data. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.